Hey everyone, Chris Stelzer from agriculturalinsights.com again. Remember, this is the place where you learn from real farmers and ranchers. That's right, I interview real farmers and ranchers, uh, giving you practical knowledge that you can go ahead and use uh, in your endeavors in sustainable agriculture and permaculture and whatever you want to call it these days. But um, yeah, it's all the same thing. So Today, uh, in case this is the first video you've seen, I do long interviews with people. They're usually about 60 minutes long, and um, maybe you don't have the time to listen to all those interviews, so I'm just going to summarize interviews. So this is another interview summary from Agricultural Insights, and this summary, I'm going to talk about Dick Richardson, and Dick Richardson used to live in Africa, and he moved to Australia and he is ranched on those two different continents. He's also a holistic management educator, a holistic management facilitator, but first and foremost, he's a farmer. So that's fantastic. He's got the actual practical skills and know-how, um, and he, all, in addition to being able to teach holistic management, um, so it's just fantastic. But man, this interview, he really um, changed my mind on some things, especially grazing management, and he had he has a very different way at looking at grazing management. A lot of us in sustainable grazing management or holistic management or regeneration agriculture um, know that high density grazing has its benefits. Um, but Dick Richardson argues maybe we're overusing high density grazing and we need to back off a little bit. And so I kept pressing him. I'm like, Dick, what do you mean? Like, what does the management actually look like here? Uh, and and he, what he said is that he uses random events on his farm, and it just comes back to thinking about what would happen in nature. What would these wild herds of herbivores be doing? Would they be grazing a two-acre, three-acre, four-acre paddock every day um, in the same rotation, you know, year after year? So in other words, on August 30th, you're always in the same spot every year? No wild herbivores would most likely not be doing that every year. So, like I said, he uses these random events. So maybe he'll confine all his animals into really tight spaces uh, for a few hours using his dogs. Um, and then he'll just let them go, and he'll give them a huge paddock, you know, where they can comfortably graze. They're all spread out. You know, there's no worries. The uh, nutrition profile of the of the grasses or the forbs or the pasture is really high there's there's no really unselective grazing all the animals are allowed to select what they want to graze and then he also has um paddocks that he'll just rest for an entire year just no grazing at all maybe he'll rest them for a year a little bit longer um and then he's got priority paddocks which um if i remember he he grazes the plants when they're in a in a very vegetative state and then maybe the next time he'll just completely back off and let those paddocks rest again for a year or so um he also has i think what i what i referred to is as the resting areas for a year he calls those strategic resting camps so he he plans all this out using his holistic management grazing it's just a big sheet in case you're not familiar with it. It's like a big sheet that you can use for grazing, for planning your grazing management. It's a great tool. Um, and then he had a, something else interesting to say about animal performance. And animal performance is how well the animal is doing, the rate of gain, the amount of milk they're producing if you're doing a dairy, how healthy the animal is. First, that's the most important thing. Um, and he said that animal performance and stock density go hand in hand. So generally speaking, and this isn't true for everyone, when you increase the density, uh, animal performance usually goes down. And it makes sense because the animals can't graze as selectively, right? So um, I'll leave it at that. But that's my interview with Dick Richardson in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it. Go over to agriculturalinsights.com for more. Again, I'm Chris Stelzer. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you around Agricultural Insights, and please stop by and say hi. We'll see you next time.